We've just received some huge dress to impress Halloween update news, with new game passes, codes, poses, and more Lana lore to explore, this update is packed with everything we've been waiting for, so grab a snack and let's dive into all the details. It's VIP giveaway time, girlies, because you all are the absolute best, I'm hosting another permanent VIP giveaway when we hit 375,000 subscribers, how wild is that? All you need to do is subscribe to my channel, follow my Roblox profile, and join my Roblox group, it's that easy. And for those bonus points, drop a comment with your favorite Halloween movie, mine is Coraline, and I've watched it so many times, I've lost count. Dress to Impress just said this upcoming update will be the biggest one they've ever dropped. Like seriously, prepare to be wowed, Yumoi even spilled the tea on Discord, saying it'll be released either next week or the week after that. Now, since we always get updates on Saturdays, that leaves us with the possibilities of it arriving on the 12th or the 19th. So, what do you think? Which day is the big one? Are you team October 12th? Or do you think we'll have to wait until the 19th? I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for this one. I can't wait to see all the spooky and fun things this update has in store. Let me know your thoughts. Get ready, because we're about to get a bunch of new items. Yumoi mentioned that she doesn't have the exact number yet, but it's going to be the same, if not more, than what we got in the summer update, and we got a lot back then, so this is shaping up to be something really exciting. Oh, and here's the best part, VIPs will be getting even more items than non-VIPs this time around, so if you're a VIP, there's a lot to look forward to, and if you're not, now might be the perfect time to join. The dressing room won't be changing, but it's getting a spooky makeover to fit with the Halloween spirit, so expect some fun decorations to get you in the mood, but wait, there's more, we're also getting a brand new lobby and runway, and let me tell you, they are both absolutely gorgeous. In one of Owen's live streams, he introduced a custom rank called Worldwide Beauty, which got a lot of people speculating that this would be the rank after Top Model, but that was later debunked. Now, Zack has confirmed that new ranks are on the way, which has everyone excited. There will also be more rank-exclusive items in the future. Guess what? There's going to be a brand new developer code, and you know what that means, free items, but here's the big question, what kind of item are you hoping to snag from it? Are you dreaming of a spooky accessory, a dazzling new outfit, or maybe something totally unexpected. I'm already daydreaming about all the possibilities, what about you, what's your dream item from this code? We're going to be getting some exciting new accessories, cat ears, and a moving tail, they're sure to be popular, so be ready to show off your new style. We're getting tons of new features, clothes, and accessories, plus a whole bunch of new makeup options, and get this, over 30 new hairstyles, that's right, 30 plus new ways to style your avatar, it's a lot to take in, and honestly, I hope they add a favorite option because with that many choices, I'm bound to get lost, but I'm super excited to see all the new looks. We're about to be spoiled with so many gorgeous Halloween-themed patterns, just wait until you see them, they're absolutely stunning, from spooky to cute, there's something for everyone, whether you want to go full-on creepy or just add a touch of Halloween flair. These patterns are going to take your outfits to the next level, I can't wait to see how everyone styles them. We're getting three exciting new game passes, and we've known they were coming for a while, but now we finally know what they'll do, so let's dive in and check them out. First up is the increased item limit, they're boosting it by 6, so instead of 18 items, you can now wear 24, how cool is that? Next is the 2x money pass, which means you'll be earning double the money, so you can snag all the currency items and pose packs way faster, no more waiting around to get what you want. Finally, the last one isn't exactly a game pass, but it's still a fun new feature. It lets you extend the time of any round by 1 minute, though you can only use it once per round. Zack mentioned the game passes won't be expensive, with the item limit pass being around 100 to 150 robux. So, which one are you most excited about? I'm personally loving the idea of extra items, but the double money is tempting too. After months of begging, pleading, and wishing, the dress to impress team has finally given in, and we are getting a cape. Yes, you heard that right, a cape, how amazing is that, it's going to be so cool strutting around with that added flair, but that's not all we're also getting a brand new Robux item. The excitement just keeps building, I can't wait to see how these will look in the game. Dress to impress is removing an item from the VIP area, and it's this dress. And when I tell you I am absolutely devastated, I mean it, this dress is so pretty. On Discord, the developer who made it said they're removing it because of lag issues, but if we want, they can rework it. I really hope that happens, because this dress is beyond cute and perfect for layering, I'm going to miss it if they don't bring it back. The new Lana lore is going to be so exciting, it'll have three quests all written by Yumoi, and she even shared a sneak peek in the chat, 
and wow, it looks amazing, Quest 2 is going to feature three interactable items with loads of lore to uncover, the quests will have a spooky vibe, but don't worry, you can turn off the jump scares if that's not your thing. We also got a sneak peek at part one of the quests, called Childhood Home, players will spawn in the middle of a dark forest near a water well, and they'll have to find their way back to Lana's childhood home before night falls, how cool does that sound, I'm already so ready for all of this to begin. It's going to be so much fun to dive into the story. And get this, Zack shared a picture of Lana, and by looking at the background, it seems like she'll be in one of the new locations, maybe in the maze or a brand new map. I can't wait to explore and see all the new places. Yumoi, the community manager for Dress to Impress, is hosting a massive giveaway of over 20k Robux, can you believe it? All you have to do is join her server, so if you're looking to snag some free Robux, don't miss out on this chance, hop on over and get in on the action because this is huge. Also, Dress to Impress won't be part of Roblox's Halloween event this year, they actually declined the invitation, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm sure they've got something even more exciting planned for us in-game. We might be getting a sale for Dress to Impress one-year anniversary, how amazing would that be? Can you imagine all the deals and discounts on game passes, VIP, sucked makeup, items, and more? It would be the perfect way to celebrate a whole year of fabulous fashion and fun. Fingers crossed they make it happen, because I'm ready to shop till I drop. The team already has big plans for future updates, and guess what, Christmas is going to be a major one, we're getting another quest, and I can already feel the holiday magic. If the Halloween quest has you excited, just wait until we see what they have in store for Christmas. It's going to be festive, fun, and full of surprises. I can't wait to see what they come up with. Owen live-streamed even more of the behind-the-scenes magic for the Halloween update, and let me tell you, it was everything. In his latest stream, he wrapped up the runway, and showed us exactly how it's going to look, and oh my gosh, it gives off the perfect goth and Halloween vibes, like seriously. It's going to be the ultimate spooky runway experience, I can't wait to strut my stuff on it. But that's not all, he also created a few accessories, and let me just say, they are absolutely adorable, first up, we have this cute decor accessory that's been confirmed to be VIP exclusive, how fun is that? Plus, he finally made the antlers he promised, and they are. So? Pretty, they are going to be a total must-have for sure. At the end of the stream, he started working on another accessory, but he didn't finish it, so now we're all on the edge of our seats, waiting to see what it could be. Comment your favorite in the comments. A developer just dropped an absolute bombshell on Discord by posting a picture and saying it's one of the toggles for the broom accessory. Yes, you heard that right? We're actually getting a broom, how cool is that? We saw it in the trailer and weren't totally sure if it was actually going to be added. But now it's confirmed, and I am beyond excited, like, I can't wait to zoom around on this broom, it's going to be magical. We have gotten so many sneak peeks of new makeup and a brand new hair, first up, we got this picture showing off four new makeups, heart, Halloween, sparkly rhinestones, and star, each one more fabulous than the last, then we got two more sneak peeks for the Halloween makeup. There's this gorgeous red makeup with ruined mascara and another icy or stormy one, they are both. So? Pretty, but wait. We're not even done yet. The sneak peeks just keep coming, and guess what? They also posted a new goth makeup style and a fabulous new hair on TikTok. You have to check it out, the hair is giving all the goth glam vibes, but I kind of wish the part was smaller. I mean, seriously, can we get some hairs without bangs? Sometimes those make you feel a little too bold, you know? Guess what? A brand new code has just been confirmed for dress to impress, and this one is extra special, Abella is getting another code, she totally spilled the tea on Twitter, saying it's already done and ready to go, they just need to launch it, so make sure you're following me because the second it drops, I'll be posting it right away for you to grab, you don't want to miss this. Owen just posted a brand new accessory that we're going to be getting super soon, and let me tell you, it is absolutely stunning, it's a pillbox fascinator, and oh my gosh, it looks so good. I can already imagine all the fabulous outfits I'm going to create with it. You'll definitely want to add this one to your collection, it's going to elevate your style to a whole new level of glam, so keep an eye out. We just got a sneak peek of this absolutely stunning new hat, and what looks like some brand new male hair, and omg, I am living for the vibe, the hat is giving major fashion moment, and the hair, well, it's about to level up those male avatars in the most fabulous way. Okay, so funny story, Owen shared the wrong picture at first, it didn't include the new Halloween makeup, but now we've got the right one, and let me tell you, it was worth the wait, it's skeleton makeup, and I am absolutely obsessed, the spooky vibes are immaculate. Recently, Dress to Impress hit an absolutely mind-blowing 3 billion visits, can you believe it? They even asked if we'd want a celebration for it. Um... Yes, please, for the 2 billion milestone, we got a free pose pack with two super cool poses, 
and I'm over here hoping, wishing, dreaming that we get something just as amazing. Speaking of poses, while we're on that super fun topic, Zach totally teased us in the chat by sharing some of the upcoming ones, and let me tell you, they are looking fabulous, so without further ado, here they are, get ready to strike a pose, because these are gonna take your outfit game to the next level. And oh my gosh, we got more juicy info about the dress to impress X Madison Beer collab, Zach spilled the tea that she hasn't decided on an item yet, but, get this, he's totally giving her a pose, I mean, how iconic is that? I swear, I feel like I totally manifested this, but you guys, it's officially confirmed, Madison Beer is getting her own code, or maybe even a collab with Dress to Impress, one of the devs, Zach, was asked about the Madison X DTI collab, and guess what, he doesn't know when, but he knows it's happening, we just need to be patient because she's super busy, Zach also spilled that DTI's manager has already spoken to her, so it's definitely in the works, and the best part, she'll be getting her own code, and it might be one of her tour outfits, can you imagine, subscribe to my channel so you'll know as soon as that code drops, I cannot wait, oh, and Zach also teased something else in chat, did you guys see that, Le Seraphim wants to collab with Dress to impress too, what, could we be getting a K-pop collab soon, let me know what you think, because I am so ready for this, did you know that Dress to impress could have been called Style Her, yep, that was almost the name, but I think they ended up choosing the current name because of a K-pop song, after the update, things are about to get even more fabulous because masculine avatars will be able to wear all the feminine hairs, and vice versa, like, how amazing is that? We also got sneak peeks of two super cute new items coming in the Halloween update, and you guys, it's just a few adorable notebooks and a camera, but they are giving major vibes, so many people are saying they kinda give Rael high 2.0 energy, and I can totally see that, Owen decided to fire up his stream once again, and omg, did he deliver, this time he was working on the new lobby, the runway, and just some random stuff, and let me tell you, it looks absolutely fantastic, I'm about to show you more clips in a sec but along with the stream, he also posted these two pictures, and I'm like, are they connected to the new Lana quests? Can we just take a moment to appreciate this building and its architecture? It's totally giving Count Dracula vibes, I can already picture him living it up here. Honestly, the entire stream was just a vibe, and if you want to check out more clips, I'll put them here for you. Dress to Impress is working on something new and exciting, they're building an in-game report player system, but before they roll it out, they've got to make sure everything is in tip-top shape, I mean, can't have any glitches when it comes to keeping things fun and fair, right? OMG, you guys, get ready for some seriously awesome tea because our fave dress to impress YouTuber, Leah Ash, actually got the chance to hop on a call with none other than Gigi herself, plus Yumoi and Zach, and they spilled so many juicy sneak peeks and secrets about the upcoming Halloween update. They're aiming for a release in the first or second week of October, and this is going to be the biggest update ever, even bigger than those massive summer updates. We already know there's going to be a ton of new Lana lore and quests, and apparently, these quests are going to be super detailed, plus they're not going to be easy, with different difficulty levels to tackle, things are about to get intense, during the quests, you might even die and get revived. How spooky is that? I'm both terrified and excited for this challenge. They also spilled the tea about tons of new features coming our way, and I am just over here wondering what that could mean, like, are we talking something similar to the free cam mode we got a few weeks ago? Owen's been hard at work crafting all sorts of things for the Halloween update, and in his latest stream, he worked on the maze, which connects us to Lana, we already have one maze filled with all kinds of weirdness, like Lana's portraits, her clones, and the cult, super bizarre, but if you complete it, you get the special dress, well, guess what, we're getting another maze, and just look at how amazing it looks, Owens added so many details, like these cool frames inside, but that's just the beginning, toward the end of the stream, he showed off more parts, and let me tell you, it's creepy, we're talking traps, so many traps, we'll have to dodge them all, and check this out, the special weapon code item is here too, this also ties into Lana, since the weapon is just lying there on the floor of the basement room where she's trapped, but that's not all, the secret basement room will actually be the entrance to this spooky maze, and trust me, it's looking so creepy, but also so intriguing, why would we even go in there, well, we might not have a choice, we'll probably have to save Lana or maybe it's some kind of mission to snag that code item, but one thing's for sure, we won't just be wandering around avoiding traps, nope, Owen said in one of the streams that something will be chasing us, and we'll have to avoid it, so, later on, Owen was spotted working on closets, and in the chat, he casually mentioned he's making them so we'll have somewhere to hide, hello FNAF vibes, 
what is happening, but seriously, who are we hiding from, is it Lana or her creepy clones, could it be Lena, or is it that terrifying monster, the mystery is real, this update is giving us more Lana lore than ever before, and it's gonna be amazing, we're diving into her childhood, her family, and so much of the new story is unfolding in her childhood home, the last place where she was truly at peace, and the hospital where she spent a lot of time when she was young, talk about deep. If you didn't know, when Lana was young, she got really sick and had to stay in the hospital for ages, we even got this picture where she looks super ill, after she recovered, she was left with a mountain of medical debt, which is why she ended up working as a nail tech for DTI, but trust me, there's so much more to this story than meets the eye. Owen also posted this chaotic picture in chat, and it looks like the maze is going to be directly connected to the salon. <laughs> Like, what, a hair makeover in a maze challenge? Talk about multitasking, and yes, I'm sure you guys already know, but we're getting a massive maze with a full quest and rewards, it's going to be wild. So, get this, supposedly there will be three quests, one for each location, yep, one for the house, one for the hospital, and one for the spooky catacombs, all of this will count as chapter 2 of the Lana Lore mystery, and I am so ready, in the quests, you'll have to progress through different areas until you reach the maze and the catacombs. Both of them look so terrifying, at first glance they seem totally innocent, but don't be fooled, they give off those eerie, uncanny valley vibes. I mean, I'm already getting chills just thinking about it, it's going to be wild. Also, remember that creepy monster we haven't seen in a while, well, it hasn't disappeared, it's been lurking right under the surface, waiting for the perfect moment to strike again, Owen even showed off a new picture of it, so you know it's going to play a big role in this update. While the devs said there won't be any jump scares, they did mention a chase scene, yes, a chase scene, part of the main quest will have us running down a hallway, dodging furniture and obstacles while trying to escape something terrifying chasing us, how spooky is that? The secret basement room where Lana is being kept is a total disaster, there's debris everywhere, and broken glass all over the place. And when I say there's a lot of glass, I mean a lot, it's even being added to upcoming maps, Owen mentioned in chat that the glass on the floor will have significance. But what could it all mean? Was there a fight? Was someone trying to escape? Like, what on earth happened in that room? The mystery just keeps getting deeper and I can't wait to find out. Owen has been busy putting up so many creepy pictures on the walls of the hospital, and later, he sent a screenshot to Yumoi, who posted this on Discord. In order to understand the present, you must first seek her past, built by Owen, storylines and quest lore written by me. This is going to be so much deeper than we thought. I mean, we're in for a wild ride, the mystery is just getting started. If you haven't already, make sure to complete the secret quest where you get Lana's dress as a reward, with all the new updates coming, it might get removed, and if you don't grab it now, you may never get another chance, I posted a full tutorial video on how to do it, so definitely check that out and get that dress before it's gone forever. And hey, if you're not the biggest Lana lore fan, don't worry, Owen confirmed that not everything in the update will revolve around her, it's mostly just one quest, so there will still be plenty of other fun stuff to enjoy, something for everyone. Gigi just revealed the release date for the next update, which is coming this Saturday, September 28th, we will be getting 5 new hairstyles, and what's even more exciting 3 new codes, which ones do you think they will be? Dress to Impress just dropped the Halloween update trailer, and you guys, it's so exciting, we're seeing so many new things, first up, we're getting a new witch hat and new hair, I'm pretty sure we already have this necklace, but the dress or corset, oh girl, we're about to look absolutely snatched, and a broom, are we actually gonna float on it, I won't be able to sleep until this update, it's all just too exciting. This is also how the Halloween dress to impress logo will look like, I love it. Another dev just dropped this picture in the chat, and omg, it looks like we're getting 4 new masks, and they look absolutely awesome, they're going to be perfect for Halloween, I can already picture all the spooky outfits we'll create with these, but what do you think? Are you as excited as I am for these killer new masks? We are getting 10 to 12 new obbies. Can you even believe it? This is going to be so much fun, it looks like there will be so much more to do after this update drops, Owen showed off one of them during his live stream, it's called Fix's Seashell Obby, and guess what, it's an easy difficulty. So even if you're new to obbies, you'll be able to jump right in and enjoy the fun. We finally got a look at the finished new lobby, these two stunning pictures were posted on Discord, and they look amazing, the dev who created the area even asked if we prefer day or night, could this mean we're getting a day and night cycle in dress to impress? The dev also shared some references, sketches, and work in progress pics, and it's clear the lobby is inspired by European architecture, it's so beautiful. In the end, we got a poll asking if we want a brand new lobby for every major update or a redecorated lobby for every season until a new one is made, which one will you choose? 
Owen was also spotted working on some adorable wolf ears, and since we've already seen sneak peeks of Draculaura's hair and shoes, could this mean they're also making Claudine from Monster High? I mean, how cool would that be? Owen mentioned the ears will look even cuter when he adds more details like fur. He did say he's just testing things out and will have to ask Gigi if they can be added, but honestly, I'm feeling super hopeful about this, fingers crossed for some fabulous Monster High vibes. In one of Owen's live streams, someone said they really wanted a pumpkin head accessory, and Owen's response was, OMG, yes, let me ask, like, can you imagine, this would be so iconic, a pumpkin head for Halloween, I need this in my life, now. A dev dropped this picture in chat, and OMG, it looks like one of the many new hairstyles coming with the Halloween update, seriously, it's stunning. I'm loving how the ponytail is divided into sections for that extra detailed look, like, who doesn't love more flair, right? But wait, there's more, the same developer posted even more sneak peeks, and get this, they announced a while ago that they're getting their very own code, and yes, you guessed it, it's gonna be for drag hair, how amazing is that? I'm already imagining all the iconic looks we'll create. We already know about so many upcoming codes, like, so many, and they're packed with all kinds of goodies, new hair, clothes, weapons, and a bunch of other cool items. I don't know about you, but the wait is actually killing me, it's so hard to stay patient when we know what's coming. Two of these codes were made by the one and only Moto Princess, and here's the tea, someone recently asked him on Discord if any of these codes would be redeemable soon, and he hit us with an I don't know, maybe September, and guess what uh folks, it's September now, which means we might be getting those codes any minute. How exciting is that? And to get your hands on it, you'll need to complete a scavenger hunt, 8 pieces of the code will be scattered throughout dress to impress and the fortress, so get ready for a challenge. Owen's new code item is a total game changer, it's an epic weapon and the best part, it comes with 3 toggles, but here's the twist, Owen isn't just handing out the code this time, instead, you'll need to hunt down all 13 characters scattered across the game to piece it together, how cool is that? I'm on a mission to find it ASAP and share it with you, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on, this code item is tucked away in the mysterious room where Lana is being kept, and we've got some sneak peeks of the animations, and wow, these items are massive. I love how this update is packed with surprises and challenges. What do you guys think, isn't this awesome? Zach, one of the developers, was asked if he had a code in progress, and he said no, but he hinted that if he wanted one, he could totally make it happen, he mentioned that if he did get a code, it might be some low-rise jeans, and honestly, we are totally here for that, DTI. Please make it happen, we have mini skirts and other cute items, but low-rise jeans would be a fab addition, pretty please. One of the most anticipated code items we though we would already have by now is Owen Spy Code. He posted in the chat about a new item called the Spy, which is a shawl-like garment worn by women in Cambodia, Laos, and Thailand. It looks absolutely stunning, and I can't wait for it to be added. The level of detail and cultural representation in this item is just amazing. Are you as excited as I am for this beautiful new addition? Share your thoughts below. The dev behind the lashes we got from a code just teased some awesome news, they're planning to rework them for a better fit and add even more toggles for different looks, how exciting is that? It sounds like we're in for some fabulous new styles and customizations. I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Then there's DTI's community manager and their code will be drag hair. Yumoi teased their upcoming code item, it looks like some kind of zip-up costume with long sleeves and a fluffy skirt, check out all those details, wow, it's so shiny and shimmery, definitely something we need more of in the game. So, Gigi and Owen spilled some VIP tea in the chat, Owen said something like, we need to spoil the VIPs this update, we've taken away too much, and Gigi was like, yep, don't worry, they're gonna get fed, how exciting is that, sure, VIPs already have tons of perks, but let's be real. We haven't seen much new stuff since the summer update, and we even lost a few things, time to bring back the goodies. Zach also shared that most of the new pose packs will be priced at 3000 plus, but here's the cool part, they're way more interactive than regular poses, so it's totally worth it. Plus, he mentioned that the script for poses is getting a rework, so we should expect even more magic in the future. I'm ready for all the posing fun. We already knew about that ridiculously cute heart pose, and let me tell you, once they add it, I'm never going to stop using it like, ever. <laughs> now we just got another sneak peek of a pose where we do a peace sign, and it's adorable, but wait, it gets better. Yesterday Zach, the animation wizard, dropped the new animation for the peace sign pose, and it's so Halloween coded. 
I literally can't wait anymore. Zach, who's all about those pose packs, dropped a hint that we should start saving up because he's working on a new one that's going to be something we really want. Zach also teased that these new poses will be life-changing, though he's not exactly sure when the upgrade will drop, but apparently, it's going to be a massive improvement. So keep your eyes peeled and your wallets ready, because this is going to be epic. During the stream, we caught a glimpse of Owen with a different rank, Worldwide Beauty. But before you get too excited, he's already confirmed that we're not getting a new rank, he just made it for himself, but hey, do you think there should be more ranks after top model? I mean, imagine leveling up to something even more glamorous, like fashion diva extraordinaire, what do you think? Owen mentioned that some confusing themes will be removed, which I get. But don't you think those themes make the game what it is? Not every theme should be super easy, a little challenge keeps it spicy, sure. Not everyone can look up the theme if they're using one device, but I still think some harder ones should stay. What do you all think? Should we keep the tricky themes? In the stream, Owen said he really wants an off-the-shoulder baddie tee, and a few weeks ago, the team confirmed we'll be getting more baggy items soon, how amazing is that? I can already picture all the outfits we'll create with those new pieces. It's going to add a whole new level of fabulousness to our wardrobes, I can't wait to see what's coming our way. With the Brad update, the runways got a refresh, but recently, the community has been speaking up about missing the old runway, honestly, the VIP one was a real gem, it looked so detailed and had such rich character. Moto Princess, the dev who designed the runways, has heard us loud and clear. He knows we're missing that old summer VIP runway, but he's promised that the next runway will be even better and will feature a neoclassical style. Now, what's neoclassical style, you ask? Well, it's all about clean lines, symmetry, tall columns, pediments, simple geometric forms, light colors, soft neutral interiors, minimal ornamentation, and classical motifs like laurel wreaths, basically, it's all about balance and proportion. And it sounds absolutely amazing, what do you guys think? Dress to Impress just confirmed that we'll soon have the ability to save our outfits. You know how with custom makeup you can save your creations? Well, the same is going to be true for outfits too. Someone commented under a TikTok video saying, We need saved outfits in freestyle, and guess what? The official Dress to Impress account responded with, It's coming soon to free play, I am absolutely obsessed with this because honestly, I can't cook up a killer outfit under pressure. <laughs> What do you guys think? Moda Princess is totally on fire right now. So, in the Discord chat, someone mentioned they already have the VIP and run faster game passes, and they were wondering if they should splurge on more. Well, Moda Princess swooped in and told them to hold off for now because there might be more game passes coming our way. A while back, a dev even asked if we wanted more game passes and Robux goodies to buy, so you know something's cooking. Last time I mentioned an item from this picture, the dev said it was a rework, but the photo was edited so mysteriously that it's kind of hard to figure out exactly which item it is, but now everyone's buzzing, saying it could be a rework of the Madoka set. And honestly, I'm here for it. I know a lot of people already have it, but let's be real, the set is kind of iconic. Sure, I get it. The skirt has a bit of a love-hate relationship with some of us, but come on, it's actually super useful in certain themes, it may not be everyone's go-to, but with a rework, who knows, it might just be the glow-up we didn't know we needed. I'm already imagining all the ways we can style it to make it fresh, spooky, and fabulous for Halloween. Any K-pop stands in the house, you know how dress to impress has become the hottest thing right now, right? It's huge, and some famous people have either been lucky or unlucky enough to be asked when they'll collab with DTI, well, just a few days ago. Yunjin from Le Seraphim went live and got asked that exact question, and let me tell you, her answer was pretty interesting. Dress to impress collab when? Honestly, that's crazy. I don't know how they, I don't know, I don't know, but it would be, it would be pretty iconic. We've already seen Charlie XCX collab, and imagine these K-pop queens joining the fun. Do I think it'll happen? Eh, maybe not, but honestly, collabing with Dress to Impress at this point would only earn you some serious bonus points, especially with Lu Seraphim dropping new tracks recently, it wouldn't hurt. Plus, fun fact, a lot of the DTI team members are huge K-pop fans, so I know they'd love to see this happen as much as we would. What do you guys think? Okay, so on Discord, one of the developers, yes, Mel herself, teased us saying if they got Gigi's permission, they drop a sneak peek of some Halloween makeup, and then Gigi dropped this gif that had us all on edge, after a few days of suspense, we finally got the reveal. We're not just getting new Harley Quinn makeup, which looks absolutely stunning, Mel mentioned there are even more details, like we can recolor the eyes, and they have tiny hearts inside, how adorable is that? 
And that's not all, in the sneak peek, we also spotted Harley Quinn's iconic colorful pigtails and a brand new top that is guaranteed to have us all looking absolutely snatched. I mean, it's the whole vibe, but wait, there's more, another makeup style was spotted in-game, someone saw Gigi herself rocking this pink heart makeup with sparkly details, it's so pretty, like OMG, someone asked the developers, and they confirmed it's part of the upcoming Halloween makeups, I literally can't wait to try it out, hold on to your hats, because we just got even more sneak peeks of some fabulous new hairstyles, they were shared on Discord and let me tell you, they are unique and absolutely stunning, I'm totally obsessed with the third style, but honestly, each one is so beautifully crafted, OMG. It's like they're all straight out of a fashion magazine, I can't wait to rock these looks. Dress to Impress already dropped a sneak peek of some new hair coming with the Halloween update, and you all, brace yourselves, because this is a moment, I mean, Draculaura girl, what are you doing here, the hair is fantastic, and let's not forget, the bangs and the main hair are separate, which means more creativity for everyone, this is about to take all those monster high outfits to a whole new level of fab. A while back, Dress to Impress hired a new person for hair design, and Owen mentioned that Gigi has already brought someone on board who's created the cutest hairstyles ever, said to be the best in the game, I'm curious if this is the same person who reworked Lana's hair. But wait, there's more fabulous hair on the horizon, Dress to Impress recently posted an announcement calling all fashion design students, concept artists, and designers. They're looking for a fashion designer slash concept artist to create original new designs and a Roblox Alpha hair modeler to craft amazing black hairstyles, the pictures they shared are stunning, and I can't wait to see all the fresh new hairstyles coming our way. We also got some new hair in the game, or should I say a redesign, one of the OG hairstyles, which is also Lana's hair, got a rework because it was originally made with Roblox's toolbox and dress to impress could have faced a copyright strike, so they gave it a makeover, and in my opinion, it looks way higher in quality now, I'm totally happy about it. We also scored some exclusive sneak peeks on Twitter, and check this out, a picture was posted featuring some fabulous new boots, remember when we mentioned getting Draculaura's hair, well, these boots look just like the ones she wears, which makes me think we might be getting her whole set. How amazing would that be, Draculaura was my ultimate fave in Monster High, so I'm beyond excited, if you watched Monster High, who was your favorite character? One of the developers dropped a picture of the Ariana Grande Met Gala puffy dress in the Discord chat, and it got everyone buzzing, many folks are guessing we might get a rework of the dress, or at the very least, some improvements, right now, when you wear the dress, you only get the shirt part, so I'm wondering if they'll finally let us rock the top too. It's super cute and I still don't get why we don't get it right away. And speaking of exciting updates, the Dress to Impress team was on the hunt for voice actors for some seriously sinister roles, they were looking for both male and female voices, so could one of these mysterious voices belong to Lana, and who might the male voice be, I'm so intrigued. Lana's lore keeps getting more fascinating with every update, what do you guys think? The DTI team and Gigi have also officially put their foot down, asking everyone to stop using dress to impress hacks and exploits, you've probably seen those videos floating around on social media or maybe even noticed it in the game. People using non-dress to impress faces are basically hacking the game. And it's seriously ruining the fun for everyone, the DTI team made it clear that if you get reported for this, you'll be permanently banned with no chance to appeal, so, play fair and keep the game fun for everyone. Someone in chat asked if they could add more masks for the game, especially with Halloween creeping up, and Owen was like, antlers would be a great idea. I can already picture them in my head and I'm so excited. He also spilled some tea, he's considering adding more gold jewelry to the game, like Montica, necklaces, nose rings, and similar bling. Though these items aren't in progress yet, so they might never make it in, but honestly, I'm totally here for it. In one of my videos, I mentioned that the So Julia pose was going to be replaced because some folks were using it inappropriately, but guess what? It looks like that's no longer the plan, honestly. As much as some players might misuse it, it's such a unique and iconic pose. I'm thrilled it's sticking around, what do you guys think, are you glad to see it stay, or do you think it's time for a change, let's hear your thoughts. Also, you know how we've seen some sneak peeks of capes for DTI, well, someone on Discord suggested that they should finally add them for us to use, and Moto Princess said that someone other than him should handle it because he's not the best with physics. We already know the DTI team is working on adding hair physics, and it seems like that's the only thing holding them back from adding capes to the game, since we just got animated wings, capes might be coming sometime soon, just imagine how awesome they'd be, especially if you're cosplaying Count Dracula. A big thing that many people have been asking for is more body diversity. As of now, we only have one body model. And here's how one of the devs replied, We really want plus-sized bodies too, don't get us wrong, we think everybody's unique and we never want to create a skinny stereotype. 
and hopefully it'll come eventually, but for right now we have so many clothes that we'd have to individually fit for the rigs, so it's kind of hard for the devs to take that long to create clothes and then have to size it to a whole separate rig, that's why only certain clothes work for both male and female rigs. This is completely understandable, and it's a complex issue. Adding more body types would mean fewer clothes and less frequent updates. This awesome two-piece set was also teased a while ago, it includes a belt skirt that was super popular on TikTok and a matching top, they look amazing together, we already have the skirt in the VIP section but we don't have the top yet, from the picture, it looks like they were still working on it. So I'm curious to see when we'll get it. There's also a picture of some elegant heels that seem to go perfectly with this set. And wow, they would look incredible all together. Another sneak peek we've seen before is that male players keep getting new stuff, and one of the highlights is this awesome jacket. There's also a razor jacket that looks absolutely amazing, just look at it. It kind of reminds me of the code jacket we have, and I'm torn between which one I prefer. Here's a small sneak peek of a new dress. We can't see too much yet, but it looks like it might be a BBL style dress. I have a feeling we're going to look absolutely snatched in this one. Gigi also mentioned that she wants more belly chains, so this definitely hints that new belly chains are on the horizon, I'm really excited about this because I love incorporating them into outfits where they can be showcased, they add such a stylish touch, what kind of belly chains are you hoping to see? Looks like another hair rework is on the way, a developer dropped a message in the chat about revamping the emo hair, they recently gave Lana's hairstyle a makeover, and while it wasn't everyone's cup of tea, I actually think it looks pretty awesome now, so I'm excited to see what they'll do with the emo hair. What do you think about these reworks? Okay, so here's the deal, there's been a lot of confusion on TikTok with some people claiming that Gigi is a guy, even though she's clearly a girl, it seems this started from an April Fool's joke, but now it's gone too far. The game has announced that anyone who intentionally misgenders Gigi will be permanently banned from dress to impress, regardless of how much they've spent on the game, so let's make sure to be respectful. I totally forgot to mention this earlier, but during the Brad update, we were supposed to get even more fabulous items, first, we were obviously excited about the straps, but the DTI team said they wouldn't be adding those due to Roblox's age guidelines, but wait. There were more age-appropriate items that also didn't make the cut, like this thick brat choker, and this guest belt. Such a shame they didn't get added, and that's not all, there were also Vivian Westwood heels and Tobby boots that didn't make it in and won't be added since the brat collab is over, and the person who designed them is just a clothing developer and apparently doesn't work for dress to impress otherwise. Would you guys have wanted these items in the game? I'm kind of bummed they didn't make it. Some people have been grumbling lately about how VIP doesn't seem worth it anymore, with not much new love for VIP recently, but guess what, Gigi confirmed that a ton of exciting new stuff is on the way. Just look at this new tight top. It looks a little like a corset, it makes our body look so toned and looks so unique I can't wait to see how people will style it. Some members of the DTI team have launched a podcast to dish out all the hottest gossip, freshest dress to impress tea, and the latest updates, you can catch their podcast channel on the official dress to impress discord server, they've already had their first episode, and it was really good. Also check out that background, it's giving major frenemies vibes, how exciting does that sound? They're also working on adding hair physics to the game, which sounds amazing. However, at the moment, it's proving to be quite laggy. It's definitely a cool feature to look forward to, but it seems we might need to wait a bit longer for it to run smoothly. There are also sneak peeks of this new hair, that still hasn't been added to the game, it looks like a wolf cut. Hold onto your hats, because we've got a ton of new themes to dive into, including alien invasion, trick or treat, skeletons, urban legends, pumpkin patch, hipster, eldritch horror, Mori K, reality television, J-pop, Frutiger arrow slash nostalgia, nerdy, farm life, food inspired, surrealism, werewolves, plant monster, daredevils and troublemakers, retail worker, pop culture, ballroom, statues, mythical creatures, and supernatural, it's like a never-ending costume party. But wait, there's more. We've also got femme fatale slash dangerous woman, hardcore punk, widow, main character, book characters, jester, royalty, divine beings, equestrian, cyber goth, medieval, marionettes and puppeteers, drag, mcbling, nightmare, uniforms, music video, grandmas and grandpas, like a butterfly, concert outfit, colors of the rainbow, flight attendant, graced with pearls, video game character, koi fish, creepypasta, goblins, and ogres, it's a total explosion of creativity. It seems like they're really getting into the Halloween spirit with all these spooky and fun themes, though they've also waved. Goodbye. To summer sadness, misunderstood, and jungle themes, what do you think about all these new additions? I'm loving the creativity and variety, it's awesome, don't you think? There's going to be a brand new Halloween area, and you'll spawn at the spooky well, 
Then make your way through the forest maze to reach the haunted house, it's going to be a total adventure, so get ready for some thrills. Owen has been streaming a ton on Twitch, and I've got all the details for you, there will be three new locations, Lana's house, a hospital, and some spooky catacombs, how exciting does that sound, beware though, there will be some light flickering for a creepy effect, but don't worry. Owen said they're keeping it minimal to be mindful of people with epilepsy, during the live stream, Owen even named some of the patient rooms and staff after viewers. How lucky is that? Plus, Owen went back and added more details to the forest and other new features on the Halloween map, he even gave a miniature of Lana's childhood home, here it is, but if you want an even closer look of everything I'll put some clips at the end of the video. One of the new Halloween quests will include a maze, all of these spooky new features will be happening on the exclusive Halloween map, but don't worry, our regular dressing room won't be changed too much, it'll just be decorated with pumpkins, spider webs, and all sorts of Halloween goodies. Since we're getting a new quest with this update, this could be our big chance to grab Owen's weapon code, I mean, come on, there's a whole treasure hunt involved, so it totally makes sense, right? Picture us all running around on this quest, solving clues, and unlocking the weapon like we're in some kind of epic adventure. It's going to be such a blast, I can already feel the excitement. So guess what, Moto Princess went live and showed us a sneak peek of this haunted house he's been building for the Halloween map, and it's looking seriously spooky, he was working on the kitchen, and let me tell you, from the Pinterest board he shared, the vibe is chef's kiss, it's going to be a whole quest map too. According to the stream title, I'm not sure if this ties into the LAA lore, or if it's just something fun and random, but either way, it's going to be epic. And that's not all, during the same stream, we got a glimpse of what the Halloween map will look like, and oh my gosh, it's stunning, the details are so intricate and everything has that perfect eerie glow, it's definitely going to be the prettiest, spookiest map yet. It's simply called Yumoi, and that's exactly right. So let's check out those toggles, okay, let's see if the code actually works, and oh my gosh, I got the item, and it's so pretty. Does anyone remember when we got that blurred picture and everyone was going wild guessing what the code item would be? There was so much speculation, and now we finally have it, so I'm putting it on right now, and wow, look at how detailed it is. I think I'm going to recolor it just a bit because, I mean, look at all these colors, the shimmers, the flower details, the ruffles, it's so dreamy. It's honestly one of the prettiest things I've seen. You guys, guess what, Yumoi is holding a contest, and it's absolutely amazing. All you have to do is make an outfit using her code, and she's going to pick three lucky winners who'll each get 1000 robux, how sweet is that? I won't attempt it because, let's be real, I'm not the best at outfit contests. But you guys totally should, this is your moment, so go for it, I'm rooting for you. Alright, let's check out the other new code we got, this one is super cute. It's called Dior Star, but obviously the I is 1 and then the A is 4, when you redeem it, you get the most adorable star purse and a bow, and let me tell you, they are so cute. The purse has three toggles, you've got the default, the elbow strap, and the crossbody, and they're all so pretty, but wait. You can even add glitter to the big star, and make it extra sparkly, plus, you can do the same with the bow, but for the small star, you can choose to either remove the glitter or keep it, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. And now, oh my gosh, can we talk about how many toggles the bow has, like, what, how many is that, okay, so this is the first toggle, then the second, the third, the fourth, wow, we are so fancy, then the fifth puts it behind your head, and it looks so nice, oh. And then there's a second behind the head option that makes it even bigger, and there's a choker option too, how cool is that? You can also make the ribbon extra glittery, or tone it down, kind of like with the purse, then you've got the same glitter options for the second ribbon and the last one too, it's so cool, I love this new item, and I am definitely going to use it all the time. And now, we finally have the other code we got from completing that scavenger hunt from Owen, aka Moto Princess, but thanks to the players who found it and shared it, now everyone can check it out, and I'm so excited, this is the infamous weapon code, and let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. What's even cooler is that you actually get two slightly different versions of the weapon, and here's the fun part, you can totally remove the weapon part, and it basically just turns into a fancy stick, which is oddly satisfying, okay. Let me just remove it and put it back on to see all the toggles in detail, because this code is such a must-have for different themes. I mean, the versatility is on another level, and I can already imagine all the cool looks I'll create with it. I just love how creative they got with this one. Alright, let's put this bad boy on and check out all the toggles. And oh my gosh, there are so many toggles, the first one is the default, and then there's the bounce option, which I am loving, it looks so fierce, then we've got the low toggle, and oh my gosh, look at how epic it looks on the shoulder. We are serving some serious power vibes here. Next, we have the default, 
bounds, low, and on the shoulder again, and as I mentioned, you can also remove the actual axe part of the weapon, but I gotta admit, it looks a little bare like that, still cool though, the code item itself is amazing, I'm obsessed, let me know what you think about it. Oh, and can we talk about how complicated these codes are, like, spelling them out is a whole challenge, I literally made so many mistakes trying to redeem them, also, what do you think of the new DTI logo over there, it's so cute, and now I'm wondering what my next code might be. The biggest, most spine-chilling Lana lore update is creeping closer, set to drop during the Halloween event, this has been confirmed by none other than Owen, aka Moto Princess, now, Owen used to be the lone mastermind behind the story, pulling all the spooky strings, but guess what? Now there's an entire team in on the action. Both Owen and Gigi have teased that the new lore will be downright crazy, brace yourselves, things are about to get dark. A week ago, players started noticing something really strange with Lana, the nail tech. If you hovered around her long enough, you'd see her glitch, and not in a fun way, she'd contort into weird, extreme poses, the kind that sends chills down your spine, it was creepy. Then, the next day, poof. Lana was gone, all that remained were moving boxes, her area looked like chaos, overturned chairs, spilled nail polish, and no trace of Lana anywhere. The day after that, a new character appeared, Lena, completely taking over Lana's spot, no explanation, just boom, suddenly Lena's the nail tech, like Lana never existed. But here's where things get extra unsettling, before this update. There were creepy Lana clones scattered all around dressed to impress, they'd stare at you through windows, blank-faced, ominous, watching, always watching, like something out of a horror movie. And then, the secret rooms, they were a huge part of Lana's lore, eerie little hidden spaces, the latest addition was the meat room, in the men's section, you had to walk through a wall to find it, inside, a key sat, waiting, ominous. But after the new update, all of those creepy Lana clones disappeared, and every secret room vanished with them. But if you were curious about where Lana went and looked closely for clues, you might have uncovered a chilling secret. In the salon, there were lots of spilled nail polish and eerie footprints. If you got close enough to the shelf, you'd fall through into a hidden, terrifying basement room. This place is packed with creepy finds. But the main shocker is Lana, kept in a cage, sobbing either standing or crouching. There are actually two cages, one marked Lana 1 and another next to it called Lana 2. Now, let's rewind for a moment, What's up with those footprints on the ground, they don't match Lana's or Lena's, they seem to belong to a pair of men's shoes, and get this, the Dress to Impress team has recently been searching for voice actors to bring sinister male and female characters to life, so, maybe, just maybe, the person who kidnapped Lana and locked her up is some creepy figure we haven't met yet. Let's dive back into the basement and check out the chilling writing on the walls, not only do we have cryptic scribbles, but also these strange lines, some say they're scratches, but I think some line up too perfectly. If you look closely at the writing above Lana, it spells out nails, but if you follow the lines, it rearranges to spell slain, with the letters in the order of S, L, A, I, N, which hints at something much darker, we might not have enough clues to fully uncover the mystery just yet. Now, the writing continues, where is she, her name is like mine, but she is so different, this could refer to Lana's doppelgangers, who share her name, or perhaps even Lena, since their names differ by just one letter, and they're both nail techs working for DTI, then we have, aim your bow and get rid of the facades, please believe me, I'm real, she'll be gone, none of them are real, these messages are all so eerie and sad, we knew Lana was replaced a long time ago, but was she kept down here, if she's in a cage, how did she write all this, was it even her? or someone else entirely. We've already established that the room is a complete mess, wires and debris strewn everywhere, boxes toppled over, broken glass glinting on the floor. It almost looks like a battle took place, was Lana fighting back against whoever was trying to trap her in that cage, and get this, there's even a weapon, which will be a free code item we'll need to work for. To snag the code, we'll have to embark on a scavenger hunt through dress to impress and other Lana-themed games to collect all the characters for the code, since this item is a weapon and we're venturing into other spooky Lana games, could it mean we'll need it for something serious, maybe even to save ourselves, or Lana, or to take down Lana's doppelgangers, the possibilities are endless. Another creepy detail to consider, besides the entrance we came through, there are two other exits, but they've been barricaded, and here's the real kicker, they've been barricaded from the inside, is Lana or whoever put her in here trying to keep something from coming in, and is Lana in danger? I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but the Lana in the cage is the original Lana, somewhere along the line, she was replaced by a clone, a doppelganger, 
or maybe something even more sinister, the only difference between them is that the original Lana wears a skirt, while the copy sports skinny jeans. In the basement, there's also Lana's diary, which has been our key to unraveling the Lana lore so far, but hold on, it looks like the diary might have been deceptive all along, the latest entry reads, are you hearing me, all the previous entries are deceptions, please trust me, it's so ominous. But as I mentioned before, how did Lana manage to write these if she's trapped in a cage, and this diary is so exposed, isn't she worried that the person who locked her up would find it? Inside the diary, there are also some mysterious numbers that lead you to Lena, the nail tech's Roblox profile. The description of the profile is, I've always wanted to work for them, yet she was in my way. When she suddenly disappeared one day, I asked to fill in the gaps she had left behind her. Of course, a salon can't function without the owner, I have a feeling everything I've worked for is just temporary, there is also Morse code at the end of her profile description. And the code translates to, hello, it's Lena, Lana's doppelganger, how scary and mysterious, what do you think? I just checked Lena's account, and guess what, the Morse code is gone, poof vanished into thin air, Lena's also started her own group called Lena's Nails, with a description that says, hello, I'm Lena, and it's very nice to meet you, and in the shouts, she said, hello, how's everyone's day, Lena seems to be a dangerously sinister character, in one of the other Lana games, she hinted in a questionnaire that she'd take on anyone who didn't like her, and her Roblox profile now screams, y'all mad I'm the nail tech, at the end of the day I'm the nail tech and you're not, so what's good? Let's run it, boo, talk about attitude, right. Lena's also got a beef with a Lana game called Sawdade, which is pretty cultish if you ask me. Sawdade's description reads, to the patrons, welcome to the birth of an uprising, a new dawn where we stand united against the forces of evil, in Sawdade, we forge a path of resilience and strength sparking a series of events that will reshape our world, join our rebellion, together, we are unstoppable. After Lana was replaced, Sadade supposedly got a post saying, apologies, I believe Lena is a great replacement, the old nail tech, which wasn't me, was removed to protect you all, it wasn't our choice, soon, I'll claim back what's mine, I hope you all have an amazing day. What's going on here, did Lana just drop a bombshell admitting to doppelgangers and clones, or even monsters, and who threatened her to make this post, or maybe the fake Lannis and Lena are in cahoots, brainwashing people and trying to drag them into the cult, the plot thickens. And it's getting creepier by the minute. There's a chilling theory making the rounds, suggesting that the reason the fake Lana was replaced is because she started to go mad. And once a fake Lana goes crazy, she turns into a monstrous entity, one of those creepy creatures we've seen prowling around the fortress, trying to catch unsuspecting players. These monsters are just as glitchy as Lana was before her disappearance, so it wouldn't be far-fetched to believe this theory. It seems the cult keeps churning out Lana clones for some mysterious reason, but these clones only last so long before losing their grip on reality, and then they're discarded into the fortress, left to become these nightmarish creatures, the whole thing reeks of a dark twisted game that the cult is playing with their creations. The cult added more fuel to the fire with their creepy explanation on why they swapped Lana for Lena in one of their sinister questionnaires, they said, to make a long story short, we've eliminated the doppelgangers, add Lana's old desk, I'm sure you've all noticed its absence echoes throughout, and I'm sure you feel estranged, you shouldn't, you might be wondering how, and your questions are valid, but the truth is, it deserves its own announcement. A story that would take time to unfold, we didn't make this decision lightly, the process was complicated, and I assure you it was necessary, I brought you all here to discuss who we plan to replace Lana with, it's a project I've been working on for a while, and one that's just temporary, then Lena says hello, I'm Lena, I'm sorry my arrival was so sudden and unexpected, don't worry, I'm just temporary, I'll be stepping in for Lana, I'm sure you'll find that I fill her role adequately in the fortress, Awakening says. I notice a lot to take in, but I need you all to cooperate and trust this is for the best. All this absence is temporary, but our mission remains unchanged, our Lana, the one we all know, doesn't feel well right now, we're still in this together, the awakening is stronger than any one of us, and we will prevail no matter what. In the same questionnaire, Lena was at odds with the players, and Lana tried to chime in, but Lena cut her off, though Lana managed to squeeze in a plea to support Lena, what a twist. Apparently, Lana's soul is in a fragile state right now, and Lena is being hailed as the cult's last hope, what's up with Lana, well, that's a mystery we'll dive into in the next video, and who knows, we might even uncover how to save Lana, make sure to subscribe to my channel, remember, you're beautiful, and stay cautious, everyone, stay safe, write in the code Dior star like you see on the screen to unlock these two new accessories, a bag and a bow, they both have multiple toggles and are just amazing, first the purse has three toggles, you've got the default, the elbow strap, and the crossbody, and they're all so pretty, but wait, 
you can even add glitter to the big star and make it extra sparkly, plus, you can do the same with the bow, but for the small star, you can choose to either remove the glitter or keep it. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed. And now, oh my gosh, can we talk about how many toggles the bow has, like, what, how many is that, okay, so this is the first toggle, then the second, the third, the fourth, wow, we are so fancy, then the fifth puts it behind your head, and it looks so nice, oh. And then there's a second behind the head option that makes it even bigger, and there's a choker option too, how cool is that? The next code is for the scythe, and this one is super long and a little complicated. This is the code we got from completing that scavenger hunt from Owen, aka Moto Princess, but thanks to the players who found it and shared it, now everyone can check it out, and I'm so excited, this is the infamous weapon code, and let me tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. What's even cooler is that you actually get two slightly different versions of the weapon, and here's the fun part, you can totally remove the weapon part, and it basically just turns into a fancy stick, which is oddly satisfying, okay. Let me just remove it and put it back on to see all the toggles in detail, because this code is such a must-have for different themes. Then we have Yumoi, which unlocks a stunning dress which has been teased for quite some time, it has so many toggles already, but guess what, Yumoi said there will be even more added in the future. Alright, let's dive into all the toggles, shall we? So here's the first one, then the second. Look at that, here's the third, and now the fourth. Wow, this fourth one is totally my fave, I love how form-fitting the top is which means you can totally layer it with other outfits. I saw on TikTok that some people were upset because in the sneak peek there wasn't a toggle for just the top, but now we have it. I mean, sure, this one is technically sleeve only, but I still adore it because it's so pretty. Like, how can you not love it? And wait, we've got two more toggles. Let's check them out. Okay, so you can add glitter to the sleeves or take it off. Personally, I'm living for the glitter. And you can make the dress shiny or not. How cool is that? This whole toggle system is just next level. With the fashion code, this little gem unlocks a gorgeous gown with a fabulous flared bottom. It's the Sabrina Carpenter dress we almost got from the last Roblox event. But guess what? Even though we didn't win, the devs decided to sprinkle a little magic our way and gave it to us anyway. How sweet is that? Plus, with this update, we got a bunch of fresh patterns that pair perfectly with the dress. You can mix things up by recoloring the top and bottom separately to create your own stunning and unique looks. The best part, both parts of the dress are rigged to work seamlessly with every pattern. And trust me, they look absolutely fabulous. Moto Princess Wave is your ticket to unlocking this stunning Southeast Asian cultural headpiece. It comes with two toggles so you can choose between a grand, larger version or a more subtle, shorter one, just a heads up. Make sure you replace all the O's with zeros when you enter the code, if you're not VIP. The smaller version works perfectly as an alternative crown, and honestly, it looks amazing either way, you can have so much fun recoloring the gems and the crown itself to match your style. In my opinion, the absolute best code has to be Kitty. Uh... Which gives you Casio as adorable cat, Kitty, the code is named the same, but with a quirky twist on the spelling, a nod to that hilarious TikTok sound where Casio says, Kitty, in the funniest way, seriously though. I can't get enough of how he says it, this little fur ball comes with two toggles for how you hold it, and you can totally customize everything from its fur and eye color to its nose and whiskers, and come on, just look at that cute face. Also, pro tip, if you ever get the chance to play with Casio, make sure to add Kitty to your outfit. He usually doesn't score high, but he always gives at least 3 stars if you're rocking kitty, so it's a win-win. Bella Lusley unlocks this insanely cool off-the-shoulder cropped jacket with a fun watermelon design, and trust me, it's a game-changer. It comes with 3 toggles, so you can choose to wear just the jacket, the jacket with a ruffle top, or just the ruffle top on its own, and if watermelons aren't your thing, you can totally toggle that off too. I think people seriously underestimate code items. But this one is on a whole different level of underrated, like, the jacket and top together might not be everyone's favorite combo, but when you separate them and mix them into different outfits, they instantly elevate your style to a whole new level, trust me. You slay even harder when you work these pieces into your looks. Next up, we've got the Creek Code, and let me tell you, it's for a super cool new hat, this is how it looks when you wear it. But here's the fun part. You can toggle the design off if you're in the mood for something a bit more plain, plus, you can recolor most of the hat to match your vibe, and omg. I've seen so many people rocking this hat in the cutest cutesy or cozy winter themes, it's like it was made for them, the fit is absolutely perfect. The code Lana Tutu unlocks this stunning strapless dress, and just look at all the gorgeous details, it's incredibly pretty and perfect for layering, you can rock it for a sleek and simple outfit or layer it with other pieces to create something totally extravagant. 
Whether you're aiming for minimalist chic or going all out with a more elaborate look, this dress is versatile enough to match any style or theme, plus, all the patterns are designed to fit this dress perfectly and look amazing, so don't hold back, use those patterns to take your outfit to the next level. The code call me Haley, with two H's and fours instead of A's, unlocks a super cute dress and the most adorable bare ears, the dress comes with a cute bow in the front and is designed to be on the shorter side, so you can layer it over additional skirts for a more dramatic and stylish flair. Adding versatility to your outfit, the bare ears are perfect for themes like sleepovers, cozy vibes, or just plain cute. They add a whimsical and charming touch, and they're super versatile for recreating all sorts of animals and cartoon characters, making them a fab addition to any outfit that needs a playful or unique twist, whether you're going for a cozy sleepover look or a cheerful, cute ensemble. These items are sure to make you stand out and show off your creativity. The code It's Just Nicholas unlocks a jacket that totally reminds me of a similar one we used to have in the game, which got removed ages ago, and guess what? It looks like DTI is bringing back a similar style in the next update, though it'll only be for the male model, but no worries. You can recolor almost every part of this jacket, and it's got such a cool retro and sporty vibe, I'm absolutely loving it. The code Lana Bao unlocks the most adorable hair bow, and let me tell you, it looks fantastic with so many different themes, whether you're going for something sweet and whimsical or leaning into an edgy, chic vibe, this bow is incredibly versatile and adds that perfect finishing touch to your look. Whether you're keeping it casual or dressing up for something special, this bow is sure to make your outfit pop, so don't miss out, go redeem that code and add this stylish little accessory to your collection now. Next up, the code Chupai 10 k unlocks an ultra-cute dress and an adorable purse, the dress gives you options to wear it strapless or without the bow, so you can totally style it your way, and the purse is designed to be held in front, adding that extra splash of charm to your outfit. You can recolor every part of both the dress and purse, letting you customize them to fit any look, these pieces are perfect for crafting those extra cute and playful outfits. The code Techias unlocks a chic bag reminiscent of the Lady Dior, it's super stylish, and you can recolor every single part to perfectly match your outfit, plus, you can toggle it to wear on your left arm, adding a unique twist to your look. Both options look absolutely fabulous and offer fantastic customization, you can truly make this accessory your own and craft some stunning outfits with it. The code Leah Ash unlocks the ultimate Sue Sylvester tracksuit, complete with a toggleable hood, how cool is that? This tracksuit boasts Leah Ash, written on the back, making it a standout piece for any wardrobe. It's perfect for nailing those Y2K vibes and sporty looks. And it's just an all-around amazing addition to your collection, you can style it in countless ways to fit different themes and moods, so get ready to rock this iconic tracksuit. Enter Ibella Slay to score the pigtails. And here's the fun part, you can toggle them into watermelon pigtails, isn't that awesome? This hairstyle is both super cute and versatile, making it perfect for channeling a Melanie Martinez look, adding a dash of charming style, or just giving your hair a fun. Layered twist, it's a great way to boost your overall look and snag extra points in voting, so be sure to redeem this fantastic hairstyle and stand out with flair. Head over to the code section and type mermaid, exactly as shown on the screen to unlock a dazzling new tail and mermaid top. You can customize different parts of the tail with color, but the top comes in just one shade, these are absolute essentials for any siren, mermaid, or sea-themed outfits and dress to impress. And here's the best part, once you put them on, you're not just walking through the server, you're swimming, how cool is that? It's like gliding through water or floating through the air in your wildest dreams, so make sure to grab these and make a splash. The Code Law Boots unlocks a pair of chunky boots that you can customize to be either knee-high or thigh-high, and let me tell you, they look absolutely bomb, whether you rock them knee-high or go for the thigh-high look, these boots bring a bold and edgy vibe to any outfit. Mix and match them with different pieces in your wardrobe to create some seriously stylish and standout looks, they're versatile enough to complement a variety of themes and styles, so get creative and flaunt your fashion sense with these awesome boots. To snag the stacked pearl necklace and long lashes, just use the code SUBMACY, the lashes even come with a toggle to make them extra long, how awesome is that? Both pieces bring a dash of elegance and glam to any outfit. The pearls are timeless and versatile, and those lashes will make your look seriously pop. So don't miss out on these fabulous additions to your style arsenal. For some super cute slippers, use the code Ashley Bunny. You can recolor nearly every part of these slippers, from the base to the accents, letting you customize them to fit your cozy theme perfectly. They're absolutely adorable and perfect for crafting a relaxed, comfy look, whether it's for a sleepover, lounging around, or just adding a touch of coziness to your outfit. These slippers are a must-have, offering both style and comfort. So be sure to redeem the code and enjoy their charming and versatile design. When you enter the code Lana, you unlock a super cute set of ruffle shorts 
shorts, a ruffle sleeve top, and leg warmers, and let me just say, these pieces are absolutely adorable, the shorts are beyond cute, and you can even toggle them to a smooth design if you're feeling it, plus, there are so many patterns that match perfectly with them. The top is a layering dream, those ruffled sleeves add such a nice touch and look stunning with most patterns. And yes, you can toggle the sleeves to a smooth design too, the leg warmers? You can adjust their length to make them a bit shorter if that's more your style, this coat seriously delivers some top-tier items, so don't wait, go use it now.